Hi, welcome to the Online Jewelry Academy. I'm John R. and I'm your instructor. Have you ever made a piece of jewelry and forgotten to put a clasp on it? Well, I have. I've made this piece in another video and I didn't put a clasp on it. So today I'm going to show you a simple way to add a decorative clasp to an item like this. It's really easy and you need a minimal amount of tools. First thing that you're going to need is some round about 16 gauge silver wire. You'll also need a pair of diagonal cutters or dykes, a pair of flat nose pliers, a pair of chain nose pliers. You'll also need a small butane torch, a third hand, a piece of wire installed in that third hand, a flame resistant surface to work over, a quenching bowl filled with water, and a ventilation system. Now this ventilation system, there are instructions for how to make it in another video on our channel. Let me clear these things away and show you how it's done. Okay, I've cleared the bench and now I'm ready to get started. As you've seen, I've already installed a small length of silver wire into the third hand. Now I'm using the third hand because I don't want to burn myself. And Whenever you're using a flame, be sure you wear eye protection. I've already put mine on. If you haven't seen our safety video, now's a good time to pause this video and check out that safety video. What I'm going to do next is light the torch and ball one of the ends. Keep your flame on the end of the wire and allow it to overheat until it balls up. There we go. We have a nice ball to the end of our wire. Now be careful, you don't want to burn yourself, so quench it. Now, after you've quenched it, you can remove the wire and then I'm going to just ball the other side. If you have a small chain, you might need to pass the wire through the chain before balling the other end of the wire. Okay, we've made the other side, quench it. Now the piece would be pickled and probably run through a tumbler to give it the right finish. But let me just show you how you can add it to your piece. It's very simple. Just thread one end through the end of your chain and then you, using your fingers, just bend it around and create sort of a playful loop. Now what I like to do is I like to put one ball past the other, like so, and then bend this one over it. Now to maybe make the second bend, I might need to bring out a pair of round nose pliers. Pliers are great. They're like your extra strong fingers that you don't really have. Okay, so believe it or not, this cute little loop will function very well as a clasp. All I'd have to do is take the other end of the chain and slip it past one ball and then past the second. That will give me a very secure clasp. I hope you enjoyed this project. Have fun making them. And remember to watch our other videos and check out our products on the onlinejewelryacademy.com. Thanks for watching.